All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you what quantum numbers are. I'll try my best to explain them to you. Uh, there's four basic types of quantum numbers. There's N, there is L, there's ML, yes, believe it or not, that's an L, and then there's MS. Now, let me tell you what these mean. N is the principal quantum number. L is the orbital quantum number. I know I'm lazy, sorry. Uh, ML is the magnetic quantum number. And MS is the spin quantum number. Now, let me explain to you what the N is. Okay, that's the easiest one to explain. On a uh, periodic table, sorry, on a periodic table, you'll notice that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Now, there are seven rows on the periodic table. So, if you will just think of the principal quantum numbers being these rows on the periodic table, that will help a lot. Now, if you want a true definition of what a principal quantum number is, along with shells and subshells, you can look a definition up with no problem. But essentially, this is what a principal quantum number is. It's n. Okay, n is just the row number it's in. Okay, basically like its energy level. Anyway, uh, we'll get into those things later. But I'm just wanting to show you what what this is in relations to the periodic table and how to use it. Okay, so just think of row numbers. Okay, now, in theory, your principal quantum numbers can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but also they can continue on to infinity. Orbital quantum numbers are basically numbers that's used to help us understand um, the different types of orbitals that exist. The ones that we know that exist for sure are S, P, D, and F orbitals. After that, uh, there are theoretic orbitals that can exist. So, meaning this, if you were looking at orbitals that are, um, say, the S orbital, it would have an L value of zero. Okay? And if you were looking at a P orbital, a P orbital would have a value of two, uh, excuse me, of one and a d orbital would have a value of 0, 1, 2. And an f orbital would have a, which is down here, f orbitals would have a value of 0, 1, 2, and finally 3. So just remember that an l value tells you the type of orbitals. If it's a 0, it's an s. If it's a 1, it's a p. If it's a 2, it's a D. If it's a 3, it's an F. And if you want me to label those for you, I will. Uh, if, your, uh, if your L is equal to 0, that's an S orbital. If your L is a 1, then that's a P orbital. If your L is 2, then you're dealing with a D orbital. If L is equal to 3, then you're dealing with an F. Now, after this, you have theoretical orbitals that could exist. So if it L equaled 4, just take over the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, B, G. And if L was, say, 5, it would be F, G, H, okay, and just I, <laughs> and J. I mean, I'm serious. It's that easy. K, okay, so you have L equals 6. You have L equals 7. You have L equals 8, and then L equals 9. I'm going to stop at 10 because this is getting crazy. And L equals 10. So that's J. So that's S, P, D, E, F. So watch. Uh, A, B, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and then M. Okay. So there. There's the first 10 um, orbital quantum numbers. So. Uh, I hope that helps with that. <laughs> so this is basically 
your orbitals and this is your uh, orbital quantum numbers here okay your uh, your magnetics are basically going to be related to this I'll show you in a chart in just a second and your spin quantum numbers that's the easiest one of all your spinning your spin quantum numbers are always positive or negative one half it's one or the other now in the next video I'm going to show you how to actually do a complete uh, chart involving calculating all possible uh, quantum numbers so I hope this is a good breakdown of explaining to you what orbital quantum numbers are and the different types that they are and and basically the breakdown of the um, orbital quantum numbers which to me is the hardest to understand but in the next video just pay attention to how uh, these numbers will play out in relation to the magnetic um, quantum numbers alright guys I hope this helps